Hi everyone, my name is Chris and in this video, I want to show you how you can set up TypeScript or rather how to set up Node, uh, a Node environment but write your code in TypeScript. So uh, this is something I've found challenging personally and I've seen a lot of beginners struggle with because uh, it's either they have to deal with all the TypeScript configuration or they have to understand how things like Webpack work to automate some stuff. But in this video, I'm just going to show you just the basic configuration you need to start building all your favorite node apps with TypeScript. Now, before we dive deep in, into anything, I need to share this with you. This is the tsconfig.json uh, documentation that you're seeing on screen right now. And what this basically is, is everything you need to know about the configuration. I'm not saying you should go read this like a book. This is one of the biggest mistakes I've seen beginners make when they are trying to learn TypeScript. Don't, don't, this is not documentations, uh, especially when they have things like reference in their names, are not meant for it to be read top down. It's not, it's not a novel, it's not a book, it's a reference. And that basically means that you should use it like a dictionary. That said, uh, basically what you need most of the time in the docs is to take a look at the get started, then use the rest of the documentation as a reference. That said, this particular section, which is a project project configuration is not meant for you to go through that page by page but just if anything doesn't seem to make sense there's a there's a chance that the explanation is in one of these options here and by the way i'm going to link the description uh rather i'm going to to to, to drop a link to this page in the description and also probably have it somewhere in this video so you can uh, just either click or just type in your browser and find yourself straight uh on this page cool now that said um let's write some code let's let's create some some let's create a node uh app using typescript i'm going to head back to ouch that something crashed but i don't think that has anything to do with us let's just close that but yeah i'm going to head back to uh VS Code on my terminal, and the first thing I want to do is to create a package.json file. And to do that, I just need to run npm init dash y, and this would basically generate a starter package.json file. It's it's basic; it's enough what we want to do with it. And you can confirm this by opening VS Code, and you can see that we have a package.json here. Now the second step is to install TypeScript as a dev dependency. Um, can run npm install dash d TypeScript. If you want to, you if you want to, if you're interested in using TSLint to lint your code, you can install that as well. Uh, it's beyond the scope of this video, but basically, if you have it installed, it checks if your code is following some guidelines that you configure, uh, or basically if TypeScript or if the code you've written is following some recommended TypeScript guidelines. Once you hit enter, this would quickly add TypeScript and TSLint as dev dependencies to your project. So if you open the package.json, you should see we have both of them listed here and of course a node modules folder was created. I can close this and move on. Let's see what the next what's the next step. Um we need to uh now I forgot what the next step is. But I think yeah the next thing we should do is actually generate the configuration file so which that which would be the tsconfig.json and to generate this config file all you need to do is to run uh, node module node underscore modules now the tsconfig.json file is basically a, an executable that is inside the bin folder in your node modules folder so if i expand node modules and expand bin i should see a lot of but executables and one of them is TSC and it's also TSLint. So that said, now all you need to do is to run TSC uh, dash dash init and this will generate a tsconfig.json file for you. You can see it's basically uh, a, a list of all the possible options that you can pass to TypeScript. In this case, we don't necessarily need to do anything for now except to probably change this from ES5 to ES6 depending on what you're going for save and if you also want to do this for tslint if you want to generate configuration default configuration for tslint you can just run 
uh, the same command node no, uh, node modules they just change it to csnet instead of typing the whole thing as you see it generates another file called csnet.json we won't be doing much here but this is how you generate a default tslint configuration you can see it extends tslint uh, recommended configuration so you literally don't have to do much here anymore I think we're done with the configuration and we can uh, head right into writing some TypeScript code. So the first thing we want to do is to, uh, let's see, create a new index.ts file. And we can also go an extra mile to create an app folder. And in the app folder, we can add an index.ts file as well. Now inside the app folder, I'm going to log uh, and say console.log and say hey you are in app slash index.ts and then inside the root file inside the root index.js we basically do the same thing copy this paste and uh, we just replace this with just uh, dot slash index.ts so this is enough for us to to like at least confirm that TypeScript is working for us in a node environment and to test things out you need to run you need to compile first you need to compile your TypeScript file to JavaScript and to do that you get to the terminal and run uh, TSC or rather node modules node underscore modules you can just remove this and replace this with TSC now once you hit enter you should see that an index.js file is generated in the app folder and an index.js file is also generated at the root so you can see that both code is now trans uh, is now compiled to javascript i don't know what the correct term here is but basically we we've moved from TypeScript to javascript and all we can just do is basically run uh run the javascript file that was generated so in this case index.js and you should get you are in you are in dot slash index dot ts and you can do the same thing for the app index dot js and we have a uh, log as well now we can do something uh at least we can try to automate these things instead of just uh like uh building and then running we can make can write one command in packing dot json that just does everything once once for us and that would be going to packet.json um, and adding a dev script and the dev script would run a build script and also uh, run a node file which is index.js okay so uh, we need to create what this build script looks like build and then what we just have here is just a TSC command. So basically I'm saying, hey, if I want to start my application, first of all, run npm run build, which would run TSC, which would generate the index.js file for us, or rather the, all the JavaScript files for us using the, uh, from the TypeScript files. And then we would run the, the generated JavaScript file with node. So that's said, let's save this, npm run dev, and you can see that this actually worked. So we don't have to every single time build and then run. Now, I don't know if you if you're paying attention, you wouldn't you might notice that this this the, the solution we have so far would quickly get bloated with a lot of uh TypeScript and JavaScript files staying side to side to side or side by side uh in your folders. If this is something you're fine with, if it's if this is the structure you're going for, then it's fine. But something you might see out there most of the time is people have an out or this or build directory where they pour all of the generated files into and to do that uh we just first of all it needs to delete all of this at least what we've what we've generated so far and then head back to tsconfig.json and uncomment the out uh rather the out directory and then in the out uh, this is you can this, this is the default configuration and that's why we are having the, gen the generated files be in the same folder as the 
our source files so we can change this from what we have so far to either this to, or out or whatever you like so let's 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 just use build and once you save this um mind you that all of our javascript files would move into the build directory which means that our package.json will be pointing to a wrong file because there won't be index.js anymore so what we want to do is to do something like this out slash index.js now if we run this once more oops something went wrong you couldn't find out oh yeah we used build not out so save and run once more they should see that we have our console uh, output in the terminal now if you head into the build folder you should see that we have an index.js file at the root an app folder and an index.js file inside the app folder everything inside the build folder basically represents our typescript project the same structure that our typescript project has outside the build folder is the same thing we get inside the build folder but just that this time it's no longer um it's no longer uh, TypeScript, it's, it's JavaScript. And then one last thing before uh, we end this video, I would like to show you that you can actually use import statements here. I would like to import app from app. And once you do this, you can just run app. This is not going to work until we head into app and at least convert this into a function. And export the default function and paste this in. And what happens is when you import this function, you can just call it and you will get both this and this printed in the console. So let's test that out. And here we do, we do have the first log, which is in the app, app uh, dot index .js file or app slash index .js file. And we have the root TypeScript file executed as well. And if you're wondering why in index.ts, I just did an a dot slash app instead of this. This will also work, but um, the cool thing about import statements is that they usually, if there's an index index file inside the folder, you can just use this and it will resolve to the index file which is super cool so that's it this is how you uh this is how you use TypeScript with node this is how you set it up and from henceforth all you just need to do is head back to the same documentation i just uh, showed you and start reading like things or how to type type stuff whatever whatever you want to do with it but the cool thing about TypeScript, TypeScript is that there's no pressure you can just Keep writing JavaScript inside the TS file and gradually add more uh, typings to your project as you gain more experience or as you practice writing TypeScript. Thank you and have fun with TypeScript. Bye.